That's what we're up against. Good morning, everyone, and it's Monday here at Suarez headquarters. Today, actually, I'm on my own because, surprise, surprise, it's Aidy's birthday, so he's actually having the day off. I don't blame him. Poor man needs a little bit of rest. So, today's a solo day. There's a ridiculous amount of work to be done. I've got a poorly back, but that doesn't stop me from getting in and getting the work done. So I think today, one painting to stretch for a client tomorrow. Then I got a bar, stretch of bars orders to do. And what else have I got to do? Oh yeah, do paperwork, get certificates ready, uh, tidy up the gallery. <laughs> uh, the list just is endless, so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what I'm about to do. Right, first place I'm heading actually while the, can you see me? While the coffee machine fires up is to have a look in the pod at what I did on the live stream on Wednesday. Now, <clears throat> because of working from home on Thursday and we were out with a client on Friday, uh, the weekend has been a video editing and all kind of website kind of thing. I haven't actually seen what you're about to see since I left the pod on Wednesday night. So should we go and have a look? Right, I'm in, I'm in. There we go. <laughs> All right, should we have a look? Yeah! <laughs> it held! Yes! Oh, I, I promise you, this is, the, this is the first time I've seen it since I walked out of here. Uh, things really went in a completely different direction uh, to how they were planned. Well, not all completely, but this appeared just because it occurred to me as we were painting. Well, probably because I slipped, actually and I spilt a ton of paint. In fact, if you click the link up in the description at the top, uh, somewhere up there, uh, you'll see a link to the actual live stream where I upset the paint. And that was where this was born out of. So a very happy accident led me to this, but rejoice, it's kept its shape. So phenomenally pleased with that. And then the other one, how did that dry? Whoa, okay. Yeah, well, I've never really done anything like this before. But that also was done live on air on the live stream. And it certainly didn't start out like that. So yeah, guys, check it out if you want to see how that was done. But I've got to say, what a good start to the day. Super mega pleased with both of those. Right, and here we have the timbers ready for the frames to go on these four pretty stunning paintings. So we've got to get these stretched up for the client uh, ready for Friday. So over the next couple of days, hopefully we will get those done. That is the van loaded. Only two this time. They're off out tomorrow. Next stop is printing out certificates for all the people that we went to last week. So that's the paperwork for their paintings, valuation certificate, certificate of authenticity, etc. etc. We'll crack on with that now. Okay, so had about an hour to sort paperwork out uh, for the last four clients that we went to see. And actually what I might do now is just quickly, if you want to see, show you what the paperwork is all about, what I do. Uh, right, so each client, if we have a little look at this, uh, will get a copy, of, well, a certificate. So that's a certificate of authenticity. 
Um, so have a look at that one. So they had four commissioned works, this particular couple. Uh, so we're hologrammed, signed, uh, lovely design, headed, dated, and it's got a picture of the artwork and uh, the title as well, plus a valuation certificate. So this normally doubles the value um, that they paid for it or thereabouts, because that's just to try and take into account the the cost it would be to replace something that well is unique and bespoke okay so there is a cost involved to that should the worst happen so that's the that's the valuation certificate so we've got one for each of the clients that i'm just getting ready to send to uh, together with their certificates as well so that that's what goes into the envelopes now if you like the look let's just show you another one of the certificates you may like to know that if you want to download your own version of it you can do all you've got to do is sign up to my newsletter from the website i'll pop a link up there and once you sign up to the newsletter you will get the template sent out uh, via email which you can have for free and distribute whatever you want uh, you will need photoshop though to edit it it is a photoshop document but it is completely editable with layers so if you are in the market for one just click that link and yeah go sign up to the newsletter it's literally one every couple of months but it's got some cool stuff on it and uh, you can download it and have it for free but that's what i use and i have done now for probably 10 years or so so that paperwork which is well i say about an hour and a half worth of work because i have to actually do the templates uh they'll go in the envelopes and out in the post today hopefully if you're new here and like what we do then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos Right, so we've been on the road for two hours already. Still one hour 40 to go before we get to the client. Let's go, buddy. And we've arrived. Training. What you doing, buddy? Well, these are what we call the ears. But what they are, in fact, I'll show you. Uh, what they do, they go on the back of the painting and they uh, stop the painting from being pushed against the side of the van. Which I think it's a pretty ingenious solution, really. Cool. Right. Still raining. Number two.
So that's a very successful day. Two more paintings to the client, which is fantastic. But we can't come to Cornwall without having a traditional Cornish pasty. And this one is about the size of my head. You've got about the same filling too. <laughs> Charming. How are you doing? So it's now Wednesday and we've just arrived here at Suarez HQ. Honestly, the days just seem to roll into each other <laughs> at the moment, but it's live stream day and we've got a lot of paintings to stretch because we're out seeing a client on Friday. So we're going to crack on with those and see how we get on. Hi. How are you doing? Just want to show you guys what it takes <laughs> to uh, record here at Suarez. So here we've got, this one here is for the Sony camera, the chest cam. This is the microphone we use for Instagram, sender receiver. These two here are the ones that is the microphone for Ed coming into where I do production. This one here is for the GoPro that we're now testing. This is the Osmo Pocket that we do recording with. What else have I got charging? Uh, over here, these are the ones for the sender and receiver for the video footage that comes off the Sony. There's our other batteries that we use as well. They also work for our lights when we're not plugged into the mains. Three axis gimbal as well, which I've got to get charged and I've run out of USB-Cs. Oh, and that's the one for the Nikon. Yeah, one or two bits and pieces here. Well, we've just been going through some of the footage that we've shot on the Sony camera after having done a 4K camera test. And we just found something that we shot in the summer of 2020, which is rather quite funny. So, should we have a look? I think so. Follow on, so, uh... Okay, here we go. We're going to have a little yeah. walk around the gallery and we're, um, we're, we're selfie cam testing again. Uh, it's quite an interesting setup, this one. Uh, so we've got the Rode Boom microphone on, sat on the stand, sort of kind of that way a little bit. And uh, we've got a wireless Rode microphone system, which is going onto AD over there. Say hello. Hello. So let's do a little bit where I say something. And then I say something so that we're here to see if the balance between the two microphones yeah. is the same. Okay, so that's what we're testing. So at my arm's length here, bearing in mind I'm not wearing a mic, well then we want to see what the audio looks like with me talking normally like this. And me talking normally like this. Okay, so that should conclude this little test. That concludes test number 857. 0.632 version 89423969. You sound like uh, Picard in uh, Star Trek, like Star Date 47785.2. Engage. <laughs> right, let's hope that this works then. Yes, Commander Data. So we're just going for a random little wonder now while we can both talk together. Ooh. I like this. Do you like this? I do very much like that, yes. Should we actually have a proper look? I very much like that. Look at it in this sunlight with its gorgeous strawberries and cream and maroons and black and that gorgeous orangey red fire colour in the background. Oh, amazing. Do you like that? It's quite nice. <laughs> but let's do the up shot. There we go. That's me up, uh, no double chin shot. Have you got a double chin there, look? Not even he's got a double chin, so it must work, look. Eric Morecambe's here. <laughs> okay, I'm that's good. singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious <laughs> feeling, I'm happy again. again. Right. Right, there we go. So that's actually a good test because we've just done something in unison. Right, let's see what that looks like. That's quite a lot to do. Painting out to the right. I'm going up Teespring. Oh, mate, mate, seriously, look at the gold. <laughs> 